My story begins on November 25th, 2006, when I wrote, My dream is to be a writer when I grow up. Um, about 14 years later, it's no longer 2006, and I have written a new book. And if you haven't heard about it yet, it is Semester Together. And it is a 16-week devotional for young girls looking to find their purpose and confidence in God's love. It covers topics like life's challenges and handling friendships and sibling relationships and finding out our purpose and knowing what it's like to live an excited life that God has planned for us. So that's a little bit about my book, but I want to tell you how I got there. I was asked to help coach a third and fourth grade basketball team. I wasn't even like helping coach. I like taught them how to run a play at one of their practices. And I loved it, I loved working with the girls, and so I did my own basketball camp that summer. And then as I got to know them, I was like, hmm, I really like these girls. I think they're really cool, and I want to help them even more. So I decided to start a Bible study my senior year of high school. And I was hoping that I'd be able to not only help them achieve athletic goals, but also spiritual goals and grow with their relationship with God and figure out what it is that He is calling them to do. And then, as I graduated, I went on to college, and I wasn't home anymore, and I wasn't seeing these girls who I'd gotten to know, and so I wanted to figure out a way to connect with them, and just still be able to guide them and help them. So, during my junior year of college, I guess in the, like, in the summer, between my sophomore and junior year, I took a trip to my third place in the world, Frank and Moose, Michigan. And it was kind of funny because I just woke up that day, decided, you know what, I'm just going to go to Frank Moose. That was one of my favorite days because I went around and did some shopping and walked along the river and sat down at this park bench where I took this little tin actually. And one of my friends got this for me. It has all these different prayer cards and I wrote down prayers for all of the girls that I had met, whether it was through my basketball camp or Bible studies or other sporting camps that I had helped at, and I prayed for each one of them. And I have this little tin full of little prayers that I wrote. And I started praying about how can I help them more, help them and encourage them and be an example for them to follow. And I wanted them to have a good foundation as they head into high school and college because we have a lot of decisions to make in that span of eight years and I wanted them to be able to make the best ones. And I had some of the girls come over later and I asked them to fill out these questions like, when do they feel most confident? What do they like about themselves? What don't they like about themselves? What about their family relationships? Or how do they think of boys and social media? And so I looked at that list and I came up with a few different topics I wanted to address and I thought I would do an online Bible study with them. So I started doing these Sunday devotional videos and I just didn't feel like that was quite what I wanted to do. I believe that when I wrote down, except I wanted to be a writer when I grew up, that that's where my strengths lie, that I am a better writer than I am video maker and speaker. So I decided to stop doing the videos and started writing a book. I remember going for a run and I called my boyfriend and I was like, okay, I have this new idea. And I was all out of breath and I was trying to explain it to him and I was like, I'm going to write a book. It's going to be a whole semester worth of things that they can talk about and read. It's going to be awesome and I cannot wait. And you can't let me give up on this idea because a lot of times I get these ideas and then I will start them and not finish them. And I wanted to make sure I actually did the thing because this was super important to me. And then I started writing it and then we were quarantined. So as crazy and sad and stressful as being quarantined in your house may be, I was able to finish a book. And I learned a lot about writing and editing and then I self-published it and I learned how to make an online store and file taxes. I mean, all these different things that I got to learn because I didn't have anything else to do. And honestly, I think that was a huge blessing and I'm super excited now because I can share this with everybody and that I can finally have this thing where I'm super proud of and I get to share it with the girls and hopefully more girls I don't even know, but especially the girls that I do know and care so much about and I want to help them. 
and give them a little bit of advice and encouragement as they all go along their own journeys. So that is a little bit behind the book. If you want to pick up a copy of the book, you can in my online store that I figured out how to set up <laughs> on my website, lessonsalongthejourney.com.